everyone welcome back to my channel it's rachel it is vlogmas day 23 we are on the final countdown to christmas um this is my guest room this is where i've been hiding all my christmas presents and wrapping stuff and everything um but i have been promising to go over this i had hoped to spend a little bit more time getting in depth with this but i just haven't had the time i did however read the pamphlet pretty well for this cause box so I'm going to go into it. This is the December cause box. Don't mind. I um, spent my day painting trim. Since I have a week off, I love doing household redecorating and um, remodeling and all that stuff. So I'm beyond doing my vlogs and videos and working full time. Yeah, I paint my house. Um, but anyway, back to it. So this is the cause box. This is the winter cause box. And... Um, one of the things in here, the big reason why I actually really need to get into this box and do it because I want to use one of the things out of here for before Christmas. But anyway, this box I believe is 59, no, it's $49.99. Um, <clears throat> and I can't remember if they give a discount for a full year. I have an annual, um, my first box I got for like some discounted price. And then in the fall, I upgraded to an annual because I really wanted to pick out the bag. I did really, really like that box. Um, anyway, so this is December. So let's take a look. I'd say this is kind of on par with Fat Fit Fun. It's a quarterly box. This thing is unique because they give to good causes or the people they buy from are like ethically sourced or other reasons. So I'll try to go into it. This is what the box on the inside looks like. Um, I've already kind of rifled through the products. This is a little handout they give you. Let's jump right into it. So as an annual member, they allowed you to pick um, what this was. And this was a poncho. And I knew I wanted the pink one. Although the other two were really, really cute. I'll show you the picture of the other ones. I'm sorry, I'm like all over the place today. But I will try to keep this as informative and short as possible. Alright, so this is the um, Sisu and um this is this i was talking about this whole company and they use ethically sourced fabrics so this is um viscous which is like a wood product that they recycle and then it makes a super soft fabric viscous is a product that i'm seeing more and more in different clothing and subscription boxes recently so it's kind of a cool idea so these are the other color choices there was this really pretty burgundy kind of patterned one and then a charcoal one and then the pink one i just thought the pink one was more fun and light and airy and kind of fit with the area of, of the country I live in and what I usually wear. So this is what it looks like. It has a big open cut there. This fabric feels fantastic. So you can just put it around here and yeah, that's really, really nice. I don't know if I'll wear this out and about as much because it's pretty warm here. Um, we got to like a whopping 70 degrees today yesterday was 78 it's freaking december and it like my daughter was running around in shorts today so that tells you how warm it is but at night when it cools off this would be really nice to snuggle in and then the few rare days that we actually get down to like 100 degree or i mean like 50 degrees this would be nice outside so this says it's light gray it's 100 percent briskest and msrp is 115 dollars. this does feel really nice wow this is really really nice so anyway, that is that. I really, really like this. This is a very nice product. Um, I don't think there's really much more about that piece. So that's that first item. Now they always put in a postcard. Um, I kind of think of these as freebies. I think they do give a value to them. I never really pay much attention to the value. This is by Claire Ritchie. This is an Australian artist who is also the box designer. Um, her stuff, I can't think of the name. There's an artist that does like this kind of block type pattern. Matisse, I think is the artist. Her stuff reminds me of Matisse art. Um, but anyway, it's really pretty. Uh, some of these are pretty enough that you could frame and put up. This one is probably not one I'm going to frame and put up, but it is really cute. Or you can send it. It's an actual postcard. All right. <clears throat> Let me see if they say anything more about her. Yeah, they don't really say much more. Um, anyway, oh yeah, so this is both a digital and a hand-designed one. That was what was unique about her product. All right, getting into the next thing, which I actually was super duper pumped to see. 
And this is probably my um, type A personality out in force. This is a planner. Let me see if I can open this. Like I said, I didn't really get into all this stuff like I had planned on it, so I'm so sorry. I had planned to do this, and as you guys all probably have the same thing, the holidays have gotten that way. Anyway, so this is a 2019 planner. This is in just a really plain black and white design. This is actually a design that I would probably pick out. And it is really, really stinking cute. It's got light pink pages and then your basic planner. Um, you've got like the month view and then the, the week view and then different notes. This is really nice. Like, <coughs> oh, and look, you've got these little stickers too. Cute. So I love planners. Uh, my type A personality just absolutely loves lists and plans and things. I mean, I'll be honest, I put most of this on my phone, but it is so nice to have a paper copy. And I like this size. It's not like overwhelmingly large. The one I bought for 2018 was like huge. This one actually I would probably carry around. It's got this really pretty gold detailing. Um, and then if I remember correctly, the company, let me see. Um, there was something special about this company. Like they... It was a women-owned product, I think. Oh, yeah, that's right. So this, uh, the reason they picked this company is this woman left the hustle and bustle of New York. She went down to Florida. She opened up her own business using more ethically sourced products. Um, and so, yeah, trying to do more sustainable products. And <coughs> I'm sorry. <clears throat> The dredges of this cold are still hanging on. So that's really cool. I am really excited at this. This, I mean, if, if you guys buy planners, you know they can be very expensive. This could cost anywhere from $10 to $30. So I'm happy with the planner. <clears throat> All right, this is the product that I had wanted to play with and I just didn't get around to, um, which kind of, you know, I, I wouldn't be able to say yay or nay on how awesome these were, but... These are the LSTN Crescent Wireless Earbuds. I don't have any wireless earbuds. I have wired um, noise counseling Bose earbuds that I use when I travel, but this will be really nice when I want to listen to my videos uh, in the house and not disturb everyone. So <clears throat> this is what they look like. And just to kind of get into them a little bit here. All right, so they are attached on either side. Some wireless earbuds I've seen just have the separate earbuds. This is kind of nice, so you could go for working out. Um, I like the color and style of them. They seem really cool. And then this looks like, um, I guess this is to set them up to, I'll figure this one out. There's usually a reason. Anyway, I unfortunately didn't get a chance to try these out more. Um, but I think these are really neat and this company gives hearing aids to uh, children in need all over the world so that is a really good cause so yeah that is it so I think that is a fantastic product hopefully they work as well as they look but I don't know yet but yeah I think this is a really neat and innovative product to throw in there all right next product here I almost bought something like this on a FabFitFun edit cell, and then I kind of backed off, but I really wanted to try one of these things. This, it was a different brand, but this is K-L-E-I Klee Detox Spearmint Floor on Facial Steam, and I think, if I remember correctly, with this particular product that this lady was trying to use, it's also, I believe, a woman-owned company, and she was trying to use products that were <clears throat> in packaging and other things that were recyclable and made with uh, like stuff that could be resourced really well. Um, I think this smells like really strong herbal and spearmint. Actually for my sinuses right now and the fact that I'm a little stuffy, this smells really good. I've heard reference that this smells like pot. Doesn't quite smell like pot to me. It just smells like really strong herbal spearmint. I actually really like the smell of this. And I think, I mean, and you can see it says floral and spearmint on here. I think this is gonna be really neat. So the, the gist of this is you're supposed to put like a capful or, or so a teaspoonful in a cup of steaming water and then 
put like a towel over your head and steam it. In the winter time, I think this is gonna be super duper refreshing. You can do this before your facial routine. I'm really excited to try something out like this. Uh, the high-end facials that you can get, they always do some sort of steaming thing like this. So I think this is really neat. And I just, I don't know, I love it. All right, next thing here is the Metamorphic Jade Roller in this package here. Uh, <clears throat> so this is what it looked like. I had gotten a quartz roller that I gave away as a Christmas present. This feels pretty nice. Um, it feels very heavy duty. So this is supposed to work for like a lymphatic massage. I have another tool where I did a video on it that was like a gold bar that's supposed to be used for massage and they claimed all these things like it decreased your wrinkles and everything. This is supposed to help with puffiness. Oh, it does feel really nice. Like if you put this in the fridge, it would feel really good. Lymphatic massages are supposed to really help with the puffiness. It helps direct the fluid back into your lymph system. Um, and there are actual medical lymphatic massages, generally not for your face, more for other parts of your body. The only thing is it's a little squeaky. I don't know if these are normally squeaky like this. This feels very heavy duty. Um, I can't tell you if this is real jade or not. I have jade. I bought jade when I was in Thailand. It was a lot darker than this, but I will tell you that this may actually be real jade. I don't know. There's no way for me to know. Um, let me see if they have anything more on the jade roller here. <clears throat> so this is by a company called Luna Nectar. And I don't remember what I read about this company here. Let me see, page 29. <coughs> I read up on this about a week ago, so it kind of... Um, I guess... Yeah, I, this is a woman-owned uh, company... And I think she was trying to look for things with science and natural ingredients to enjoy. All right, <clears throat> next product here. I gotta hurry up because I'm gonna run out of video soon. Unfortunately, I didn't empty my memory. This is a product I was not that excited about that you could choose. And I just, it's not my style. Um, so I don't know, I may give this away to somebody, but this is a necklace that what it is, is it's supposed to be a fair trade. There's this company that goes out and has basically helps market artisans to the market. This is pretty thin um, and it's not a bad looking thing, but I just don't feel like this is very exciting or uh, this is not something I would necessarily reach for in general. It's just when I saw it, I wasn't excited. There were earrings as well that were offered that I really didn't like the look of them. Um, and I, th I think it's just a personal style. Like I tend to wear smaller jewelry. This is very big. And honestly, I feel like the this is very like flat and cheap looking. If they had rounded it around like this top piece, it would have looked nicer. This is not a hit at all for me, but that's okay. I, pretty much everything else so far has been a hit. Okay, the final thing, and the reason I wanted to get to this box before tomorrow is they sent wrapping paper. And the wrapping paper you can use, and it's the box style. Now, I've heard reference that this looks kind of like dookie. I can see that. <clears throat> but that's not going to stop me from using it. I actually think it's really adorable. So there's three different colors here. There's like a medium, a light, and a dark shade. And they're cute. Again, I think it really reminds me of that Matisse. If you've never heard of Matisse, Google Matisse. You'll kind of understand what I'm talking about with the um, forms of the artwork. But for wrapping paper, this is a freaking adorable. And that is about it. This month, I thought it was interesting. I usually say they do a good job of not wasting space, but they put in some like cardboard form thing here. So anyway, guys, thank you. I will see you tomorrow for Christmas Eve. I don't know what I'm gonna do yet, but please give me a thumbs up, leave comments, subscribe. Thanks everyone for watching. All right, good night.